Have you ever wondered why, with all our technological advancements, we still face hurdles in harnessing the full potential of solar energy? Solar energy, the radiant light and heat from the sun, holds immense promise in our pursuit of sustainable energy solutions. It's clean, it's abundant, and it's free. Yet, even as we've made strides in solar technology, it seems we're still playing catch-up with the sun's abundant energy. The challenges are significant. Efficiency is a constant issue. While solar panels have become more efficient over the years, they still only convert a fraction of the sun's energy into usable power. And then there's the storage problem. The sun doesn't shine all the time, so we need ways to store this energy for use when it's cloudy or at night. And finally, there's the matter of cost. Despite falling prices, solar power systems can still be a significant investment. Despite these challenges, scientists are exploring innovative solutions, one of which is artificial photosynthesis. To understand this solution, we first need to look into nature's own solar cell, photosynthesis. It's a process as old as life itself, where plants convert sunlight into chemical energy. They do this with the help of chlorophyll, a pigment that absorbs light and gives plants their green color. This absorbed sunlight then interacts with water and carbon dioxide, leading to a chemical reaction that results in glucose, the food for the plant, and oxygen, which is released back into the atmosphere. In essence, plants are natural solar cells, taking in light, water, and carbon dioxide and turning them into energy and oxygen. It's a seamless, efficient process that's been fine-tuned by millions of years of evolution. So, what if we could mimic this natural process to produce energy? That's where artificial photosynthesis comes in. Artificial photosynthesis aims to replicate nature's process to produce energy. But what exactly is artificial photosynthesis and why is it important? Artificial photosynthesis is a scientific method that seeks to mimic the natural process of photosynthesis. Just like plants convert sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide into oxygen and glucose, artificial photosynthesis intends to transform these same elements into usable energy. But instead of producing glucose, the goal is to generate renewable fuels such as hydrogen or methane. It's a concept that takes the best of what nature offers and combines it with cutting-edge technology to revolutionize our approach to energy production. So, what makes artificial photosynthesis a potentially better alternative to traditional photovoltaics, better known as solar panels? Let's look at three main areas. Efficiency, environmental impact, and potential applications. Firstly, efficiency. Traditional photovoltaics capture only a fraction of the sun's energy spectrum, while artificial photosynthesis has the potential to utilize a much broader range of sunlight. This means it could potentially convert more sunlight into energy than current solar technologies. Secondly, the environmental impact. Solar panels are great, but they require significant energy to manufacture and can create waste at the end of their life cycle. Artificial photosynthesis, on the other hand, uses abundant and non-toxic materials like water and carbon dioxide, making it a potentially cleaner alternative. Lastly, potential applications. While solar panels are primarily used for electricity generation, artificial photosynthesis could produce a range of renewable fuels. These fuels could be stored and used when needed, overcoming one of the biggest challenges of renewable energy, storage. But it's not just about energy production. Imagine buildings that absorb CO2 and sunlight to produce their own energy, or vehicles powered by fuel made from artificial photosynthesis. The possibilities are intriguing and could reshape how we think about and use energy. Sounds promising, doesn't it? But how exactly does it work? Let's delve into the scientific mechanism of artificial photosynthesis. It takes inspiration from nature's own process, but with a twist. The process starts with light absorption, just like in natural photosynthesis. Special materials known as photocatalysts absorb sunlight, initiating the energy conversion process. Now let's talk about water splitting. This is where the magic happens. In natural photosynthesis, plants use sunlight to split water molecules into hydrogen and oxygen. Artificial photosynthesis seeks to replicate this process. The photocatalysts, once activated by sunlight, facilitate the splitting of water molecules into their constituent parts, hydrogen and oxygen. This is a remarkable feat of science as it's a clean and sustainable way to produce hydrogen, which is a promising source of renewable energy. But how do we convert this energy into a usable form? This is where semiconductors come into play. These materials are not only good at absorbing light, but they also have the ability to generate an electric current when light hits them. This electric current can then be used to power our homes, cars, and more. 
Now you might be wondering how do we actually implement this in real life? The answer lies in materials science and biotechnology. Scientists are working to develop efficient photocatalysts and semiconductors that can maximize the energy conversion process, and it doesn't stop there. Some researchers are even experimenting with bioengineered components using genetically modified organisms to enhance the efficiency of the process. This might sound like science fiction, but it's happening right now. We're in the early stages of this exciting field, and the potential is enormous. Imagine a world where we could harness the power of the sun, just like plants do, producing clean, renewable energy on a massive scale. With this science, we can produce renewable fuels and help the environment. It's a thrilling prospect, and we're just beginning to scratch the surface of what's possible with artificial photosynthesis. The implications of artificial photosynthesis are immense. This cutting-edge technology could revolutionize our approach to energy production with applications that go far beyond simply generating electricity. Imagine a world where we can produce renewable fuels directly from sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. This is no longer the realm of science fiction, but a tangible possibility with artificial photosynthesis. Hydrogen, a clean and efficient fuel source, could be produced on a large scale using solar energy and water. This process, known as water splitting, replicates the natural photosynthetic process in plants, but instead of producing glucose, it yields hydrogen, a gas that can be used in fuel cells to generate electricity. But the potential of artificial photosynthesis doesn't stop there. It also offers a promising avenue for carbon capture. As our planet grapples with the escalating threat of climate change, reducing our carbon footprint is more critical than ever before. Artificial photosynthesis could help us achieve this goal by converting carbon dioxide, a potent greenhouse gas, into useful compounds or fuels. This not only reduces the amount of carbon dioxide in our atmosphere, but also provides a sustainable way to produce energy or materials. The environmental benefits of artificial photosynthesis are clear. It offers a sustainable, efficient, and clean way to produce energy, reducing our reliance on fossil fuels and helping to combat climate change. By mimicking nature's approach to energy production, we can harness the power of the sun in the most efficient way possible, just as plants have been doing for millions of years. In essence, artificial photosynthesis represents a new way of thinking about solar energy. Instead of simply converting sunlight into electricity, we are now exploring ways to store this energy in chemical bonds, just like nature does. This could transform our energy infrastructure, making it more sustainable, efficient, and resilient. However, like all new technologies, artificial photosynthesis faces its own challenges. As we delve into these in the next segment, remember that every hurdle is an opportunity for innovation and progress. Despite the potential, there are hurdles to overcome in the field of artificial photosynthesis. The journey towards perfecting this technology is a path strewn with both triumphs and challenges. Let's talk about the triumphs first. The world of science has seen some remarkable breakthroughs in recent years. Researchers across the globe are tirelessly working on innovative solutions. For instance, scientists are exploring new materials like semiconductors and photocatalysts, which can absorb more sunlight and convert it into energy more efficiently. There's also a surge in biotechnology innovations, with bioengineered components being designed to mimic the natural photosynthesis process more closely. These advancements are fueling the progress of artificial photosynthesis, inching us closer to a future where energy production could be as natural as breathing. However, every coin has two sides, and this one is no exception. While the strides made in artificial photosynthesis are impressive, there are still obstacles that need to be addressed to make this technology a viable alternative to traditional energy sources. Scalability is the first among these challenges. While artificial photosynthesis works well in laboratory conditions, scaling it up to a level where it can power cities and industries is a monumental task. It's like trying to grow a tree from a seed in a matter of days. Next up is the issue of cost. The materials and technologies used in artificial photosynthesis are expensive. This makes it difficult to compete with conventional energy sources in terms of price per unit of energy produced. Finally, there's the challenge of efficiency optimization. While artificial photosynthesis has the potential to be more efficient than traditional solar cells, we still have a long way to go. 
The process needs fine-tuning to ensure that as much sunlight as possible is converted into usable energy. So, there you have it. The road ahead for artificial photosynthesis is not without its bumps. But then again, no path to innovation ever is. And with the relentless pursuit of science, these challenges are merely stepping stones towards a more sustainable future. The future of artificial photosynthesis is bright with potential impacts on the energy industry and urban environments. As we continue to explore and refine this technology, who knows what incredible breakthroughs await us on the horizon. Artificial photosynthesis holds immense promise for the future of solar energy. It's a game changer, a beacon of hope in our quest for sustainable energy solutions. By simulating nature's own process, we can unlock a way to transform sunlight into chemical energy more efficiently than ever before. Not only does this approach offer a solution to the storage and cost challenges of traditional solar technologies, but it also has the potential to significantly reduce our carbon footprint. Imagine an urban landscape where buildings, vehicles, and infrastructure harness the power of the sun through artificial photosynthesis. A world where renewable fuels produced through this process power our everyday lives, combating climate change in the process. The promise of artificial photosynthesis is not just about energy. It's about building a sustainable future, a greener planet, and a brighter tomorrow. As we continue to explore this exciting field, we invite you to join the conversation and spread awareness about this revolutionary approach to solar energy.